guys. That's what that brick works out for. Two, two and a half inch. Don't even go this. Here we are, berries. They let you in. We got uh, What are we getting? Uh, stone and bricks. Stone and bricks. Yeah. Do you want to go behind that black one? Just yep. keep tight to him. Yeah, we'll do. Thank you. We'll drop it at eight. We'll open at eight. Okay. Right, we're in because they've got a rope across, so they get all the cars to the rope. It's like wacky races, and um, because people used to queue up on the main road, and it's Saturday morning, and it gets really busy on a Saturday morning. You have all the DIYers coming in first thing, so um, we're getting stuff for a few jobs while we're up here. Well, we made the, took the trouble to come up here. We're getting stone for a job I'm doing bank holiday Monday. Some half a ton of scalpings, we're getting some bricks for a patching job and picking up some lintels for a lintel job which is coming up in a couple of weeks. So um, we just, what is it now? Quarter to? Qu nearly ten to, yeah. Yeah, nearly ten to eight, so not long to wait now. And then, um, just show you. There's the old Weybridge there. That green building and that, there's the concrete where they've concreted it. You can just see the steel on the edges. Used to come in and get your loose stuff and then get weighed on. Get weighed on the way in, get weighed on the way out. I got rid of it for some reason because it was a public way bridge as well. So we're back at the normal entrance. Ready to go. Whoop. Told you it's chaos when that, that bloody thing goes down. Go down to get loaded with the, the bag. Then we need to go down here for some bricks. So, where's the uh, ton bags of stone? Behind us. <coughs> All right. Right, let's go and get it loaded. Right, so we're at the brick bit now. Hey, look, Al. Look in the distance there. Cheshire pre wars. Oh, yeah. Some berries still have them, so we can still get hold of them. These look a lot like the bloody Gleason bricks. Not them. Oh, yeah, they are. Yeah. Golden sand face. These are for patching that job. We did the wall up. Well, you haven't, we haven't seen the video yet, but we've got 30 bricks to patch up. So right. I'm not sure the 65 or 73s, but if the 65s, we can always just cut them. Third shelf up. Mm -hmm. Bit more of a selection than Selco's. 
Selco's is just handy for the hours. Berry shuts early on Friday. Selco's is not till 8 o'clock at night. Berry's opens at half 7 on a weekday. Selco's opens at half past 6. So if, you're, if you just need to nip out for the essentials, that's where Selco's comes into its own. Right Al, let's go and get the uh, ticket. No parking. Park over here now. And then the same script will head up to the shop. Right. Got it. Got our sheet. Now it's off to the toy shop. Right, with skate berries. It's a uh, 20 to 9, so that's not bad, 40 minutes in and out. We've got quite a, peep, quite a lot on the uh, checkout, so that queue went pretty quick. Didn't take the credit there today, you've seen it in the shop. <sighs> so, <coughs> we're heading to Fairwoods now for the uh, building sand, because we like the bigger bags and they're cheaper for sand and cement, so pretty much on the way. We'll get there soon. So it's about 20 to 10, maybe quarter to 10, we've finally arrived with all the gear. It's, um, it's just a garage, refurb, new roof, Doors getting blocked up and then just getting tidied up. But um it's the back bit, the back brickwork needs coming down, which doesn't look that bad until you go Wow. You definitely won't be able to get on the camera how far out that is. Spirit level Al, six footer. Let me go here. Slightly out. <laughs> so everything's coming down, right down. It's nine inch walls, the whole front skin is coming down and the bricks are outside to rebuild that. Just some new new face brick. That's not a six footer. I don't think any six footer to see how out of plumb it is. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's put a level plumb. Wowzers. So that's today's job. Bit of demolition. Everyone loves a bit of demolition. And then we've got to skip just there. So we'll get all our sand and everything offloaded on the van because the van's creaking under the strain. And we'll get cracking. So there's a little view from up ladder. I don't know it comes across well on the camera, but there's our wall, here's our patching. Obviously this is flush with the brickwork, which means this bit isn't. So let's start at the top. Let's get all this back in the skip where it belongs. Okay, let's see how we go. What do you want? Um, 
the crowbar, I think, to start. Let's see what happens. You need to get your mask on. You're going to take this crowbar off me? Yeah. Still these are good bricks. Make you save for this. So make a note which ones you're not saving because they're all going in the skip. Right. And when you pass down to me. It's a good start, no, I'm fine, just don't want it at you. Let's get my mask on, it's something I was picking up. There's a few headers in this that I don't need snapping up. Here's a quick one for the battery dies. That's what that brick works on. Two, two and a half inch. The only thing holding this pike up was one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four headers. As soon as I put those headers, the thing all came forward. So this is all fine. So we're going to reskin this, uh, tie it back as well. So yeah, this timber's coming down now. You can also see all the stuff that's grown between the skins. Between the walls that. There you go. Bonkers. Right. Get it back on charge. Just got a half to repair there. Yeah. Getting there. Right, well now let's just clear in the ropes away. I'm going to get my foot wire there. Just knock all the snots off. So we've got plenty of room for our fingers when we build back up. Um, yeah, that's it really. So, nice bit of foliage from behind the wall. Um, yeah, so we'll get on time lapse. Get the radio back on. Right, past halfway now, got all the headers snapped off and we've got a bit of a, make sure the other wall isn't moving. So you see, we don't want to be pushing the wall at the wall oh, yeah, over. Yeah. Use the other end, got more leverage, that's it. Yeah, that's gone. Stand to the side as you do it. Oh, yeah.
for the end. I wasn't expecting that. No, I was expecting it to crumble. So was I. Well, where, where is it? You've been dying for that, haven't you? Yep. Now the thumbnail can pay off. First time we used this, he ended up in hospital. Yep. Keep your finger open. And it's down. I think it's half one, isn't it? Probably, yeah. Let me check the time as usual. What's the time do we get it? We got about 10 o'clock, didn't we? Yeah, 25 to two, uh, 2. Right, not bad. Not bad at all. Put up a bit of a more of a fight than I thought it would. Well, like you see in the video, it just didn't crumble, did it? It no. just came down in one big unit. It's been, this has been rebuilt in black stuff. This has built the original lime mortar, and this bit was built out of sand and cement. Rock hard sand and cement. So that's, probably, oh, that's all that kept it up really wasn't it, the sand and cement and like eight headers? Yeah. One there, one there, one there, one there, there, there. Here, we sound like on it over the hedge, the traps are here. Oh yeah. Here, <laughs> here, here. <laughs> and then it's tied in there wasn't it, to the original building. Yeah. I just returned a bit there. And what were the wood things? I don't know what they were, just bits of pattern for some reason. It did have a chimney near originally, but it's, you can't see where what's original, what's not. Bit of a mishmash. But like I say, it's going to be a nine-inch wall. We're just going to skin this up with snowy, snowy smooth commons. I think the customers picked. Right. Didn't want it rendering. Just wanted this bit, this bit, but face brick, but old looking. What we need to do is nip back to the house now and pick up our mixer, and then we'll probably try and find me plumb bob so we can plumb these soffits down. That could be done with the level. And we'll show us our little trick with the uh, the timber on that, and then that's going to be tied in. Yeah, we need to get some ties as well, screwing ties, so we can tie it back into this and back across here as well. There's no damp course in the building. It's not even a garage. It's just an outbuilding, which they're just doing up basically, just to use a bit more. It's not going to be an office or anything. So it's just getting tidied. Well, it's not a bloody hazard anymore. <laughs> no. And the wall looks straight now. We have a feature, that one, it? Yeah. Right, so let's get packed up and get back and get this mixer. Try and get a few courses in today. And then, um, if we get a few in, we can get the profile up tomorrow. The intermediate's on there. Obviously, put the, uh, the timber profile there. Let's get sorted. <laughs> And it's about three o'clock, coming up for three o'clock. So we've nipped on, got the mixer, because we couldn't fit in the van before. Yeah, um, we're all set up now, Alex is just loading out. So the plan is to get, get it all set out, 
get a couple of course down and then we can put the intermediate profile at this end tomorrow and a batten up this side tomorrow and it's just straight running then until we get to the pike um, yeah we're going to bring the trestles tomorrow for getting the pike so yeah we're all getting all set up now should be ready to go in a bit I'm just going to use the straight edge to plumb down off the soffit So the first line on the left is a plumb line, which is, doesn't work. It ends up over here. That's where the plumb line ends up, so that's not happening. So we're going to set up from there and use a straight edge up to the, so it's, it's ever so slightly out of plumb, which can end up in the right place. Now, let's get this other one done. Same there, it's not going to work. Plumb that down. Our Britwick's going to be proud of this. It's going to be out here. So we're going to use this as our starting point. And just range it through to the soffit. Yeah, we'll do that. It's not critical. We're just working with what we've got. Um, yeah, that's it. I haven't checked it for level yet. What I'm going to do is, once we've got a couple of posts on there, I'm going to string the line. From up there, down there. Rob Stocker style, as I saw in his video the other day. Always picking up tips. 